Good morning, traders. It is about 20 minutes after nine on uh, the 28th, the last day of February 2019. <clears throat> Pre market review. Finding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose if you're playing this game. No one has a crystal ball. We try to find trades that make sense. And ones that work, we try to take something out of the market. And those that don't, we try to use a reasonably tight stop so that we can give back our little finger, but not our whole body. Secret to this business, do not over leverage and accept the idea that you're going to be wrong and probably wrong a lot more than you'd like. Let's take a look at a couple of ideas that we had talked about pre-market. Let's start with the overnight range. Uh, I had suggested perhaps bucket shop close. We don't know. We know there's a magnet up there psychologically, 99 to 28. And that's still a magnet. And we said, if we got support to hold, <clears throat> tight support at 88, right in this neighborhood right here. If we got that to hold, then they could scoot it up. Well, it turns out overnight they couldn't, and, and that's what I call the bucket shop close because it was just a squeeze type trade. And gotcha, gotcha, knocks out, stops, and then we drift back overnight back into the range. So that's first priority today is trade inside day before you worry about new lows or new highs. And this morning I had suggested, actually last night I had suggested let's let's use deep support at 82, which has held. And the angel is back here in this 82 region. So we're using for now the idea of 82 to 85 as our primary support. That gets busted, anything goes, but you know, theoretically that's our support zone that the longs are trying to defend. I had also suggested make sure you are paid in this 88 to 92 zone if you're playing long side. And that would be our aggressive resistance. Anybody wanted to try to scalp short and especially ahead of news with profit taking. So we've got a fairly tight box in here, about a five point box. And that's all we know right now. We, we also know that we've got multiple gap situations and jury is really still out. So, so this chart tells us all we need to know relative to the overnight range, but not other frames. So to the next frame we want to look is the weekly and we can see how we got this lower low and a lower high. And then we've come back into the range and holding and now we're still kind of respecting. Had a trend line over here. Let's stay here lower. We busted that and so I've adjusted it to say okay for now that's the trend line. So we're making lower highs and lower lows until we're not. And, and right now we're obviously back here at that important 88 area. So I think this is probably the hardest trade in the world for traders to guess when you look at a chart like this and say, are we going up or going down? And all I know is <laughs> until we break these successive highs, those are resistance highs. And the same on the support that we break yesterday's low, that's support. And the overnight low is support. So range trading would seem to make the most sense, hit and run, think small, based on these charts. Here's our monthly I talked about. Look at the monthly I said last night, around 8 o'clock or so, I said this is an important chart. And you can see how that range has has really played out overnight this this box that I, I was you know referring to that we we've got both sides have to respect the bottom and the top of that box so so we know for now that this uh 97 98 area theoretically is is resistance 
based on that box. So this is our fighting range for now. It's all we know. Very important chart. And this is an OTF chart. Here's our predictive chart. We know that we're fighting this range currently. So step by step, we can identify the small ranges within the larger, which we call Russian dolls. You've got to obviously penetrate one side of a, a range before you can get to the next. So currently this is our range and that's why I suggested make sure that you were paid on, on anything coming back in here. Look, looking at this 93, that's a flipper. So time will tell. There's a lot of speakers going on. I expect some head fakes today. Important chart here. We can see how <clears throat> primary resistance has held and primary support is held. And we're in between it. Here's our five minute RTH, uh, I'm sorry, 15 minute RTH that we found yesterday. So you can see the basis for me saying today that I think we need to keep an eye on this chart and that this 92 to 95 area, very important, as is the bottom level at 79 to 78 area. So very, very important concept today for me is to keep an eye on this chart. Because if we open up under here and stay under, then we know this is the range being chopped around. Anybody playing for the half gap <clears throat> to gap? Make sure you pay that by the open and certainly by the 92s. And we can see by this chart, <clears throat> Look, looking at these levels right here, how we've made lower, lower, lower. Four days in a row, I said yesterday could be Taylor Day 3. The case would be better made for Taylor Day 3 if we'd really held uh, that 88 area overnight and then made a new high this morning, pre-market. But that has not happened, so it, the waters are much uh, muddier. And if you have to spend an hour and a half to – understand where you think the market's going you may not have an edge and and that's okay so you either play hit and run or you don't trade there's nothing wrong with not knowing where the market's going or, or not having a clear idea in your mind where it's going say okay i'm not going to trade until the, the picture clarifies here's my favorite one of my favorite charts 15 minute Globex. And look how squirrely this is in here with all the moving averages. You know, come back to the rain line, tells us this 89 area should be the middle. It is. This is where the break came overnight. First one up here, just a tad higher. <clears throat> overnight break was here, and then we broke this support low, triggering any next low. So theoretically, this low back down in here. 78 area is the next support based on black, white, black, white. So very muddy picture right now with lots of speakers. I encourage you to be somewhat cautious. And you have to flip on a dime. You have to be able, like yesterday, you know, yes, yesterday was one of those days that I said, all right, we're going to hit a couple of bounces. And then at some point, and you need to identify where in, in your own thinking, at some point, I said, wait a minute. These guys really, you know, we, we should have been able to hold that. We haven't. I think the squeeze is on, and that turned out to be true. That That's the essence of being a good trader, or, or at least a good analyst, uh, is to be able to, to look at that and say, you know, they, they really have equalized this, and I think they're going to try to knock out, close the gap, and knock out the highs before they do anything. And, and then they run that you know, into the ground right, right after the close, you know, bang, got all the stops and then they come back. So, so this is clearly the bucket shop trade where, where it was just a manufactured, let's knock out the stops and, and then we're right back into the range. So I'm suggesting be conservative. I'm suggesting that today's trade will probably have some head fakes in both directions. 
and anyone who is playing for the gap, half gap, I think hit and run and probably pieces because so far it's been whack a mole the way they've done that. And there's going to be one good shakeout at some point today before a pretty good run, in my opinion. So get your VIG. Get your two or three or four points here and there and then try it again a couple of times. Once you get your VIG, be satisfied. And then take the trades you really want to tr take. There's our two-day range, inside day. So you can see we've come back a deep pullback into yesterday's range. And then a deep push back into the overnight range. So currently right now, uh, most important idea in my mind is 82 to 85 as support. And if they test that, my first expectation is that that will hold. So paid for sure, anybody gets back into the 85 to 82 if it comes this way and if you're short. And if you are a conservative trader and want five minutes on the sidelines, do it. There's no rush, no rush to trade. It's more important to put some capital in our pocket than to be in a rush. My <clears throat> immediate bias today is to expect that they will try to defend 82s to yesterday's low for sure. And if I'm wrong and we get some kind of news event and a plunge, then I'm wrong. But I'm, I'm expecting inside day first, not expecting yesterday's low to break. And if it does, marginally so, just by a point or so, you know, close that gap. 